Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers, and this one is a massive collection of low-polygon 3D models, mostly. There's a few other things thrown in here, but it is the Polygon Assets by Animpick Creative Studios bundle, and we're just going to jump in hands-on with the demonstration. So the first thing you'll notice is here we are. This is Unreal Engine 5.2. This is one of the assets. This is, I believe, the New York City asset pack demonstration level. Uh, and it's indicative of how these things work. Now, one thing you're going to notice with this pack is when you actually get them, uh, it comes as a download. So you get the downloads here. You unzip it. You get both a Unity package and then a zip file. Inside of the zip file, you will find an Unreal Engine project. And that is basically a, what you're getting for every single one of these assets in this bundle. Now, the good news is if you're using another engine, uh, there are plenty of ways to actually get from Unreal Engine or Unity to your engine of choice, uh, plus some ways to drill, deal directly with Unity asset packages. I'm going to cover those for Godot in the near future. Uh, but yeah, so this is one of the assets. You're going to see here we got this little guy floating around right here. All of the objects in this guy are implemented uh, basically as static meshes. Again, you want to instantiate something, literally drag and drop it into your world. They're not prefabs, they're static meshes, but it should be sufficient in this case. Now we're going to head on over to the world of Unity, where we're going to do the remainder of the hands-on demonstration, uh, just because it's easier to load in Unity assets to one project than it is with Unreal Engine projects. And here you can see the Mega City environment. It gives you an idea of all the stuff. It's very simple, low-polygon assets for the most part, but there are a lot of them. And artistically, it should pretty much mesh uh, with the style of uh, Cinti. A little bit different, but it, it wouldn't look jarring if you mixed and matched uh, in with Cinti assets. I believe this one has about 500, sorry, 800 assets included in it. Uh, again, instantiating things in this case, everything is a prefab. So let's go on down here and find this guy. So this is the Mega City prefab right here. So you find all the various different things you want. So uh, let's say I want um, a car of some kind. So is that a city prop? No. All right. So let's say I want, okay, I'll just drop a Ferris wheel into the world. Uh, so everything is uh, prefabs, drag and drop, good to go. So now we got a boat on top of a building and we've got a Ferris wheel in our world. So everything here is prefabs in the world of Unity. Uh, should make it easy to work with. Let's go take a look at something else in this pack. Now one of the things that's a little bit different from everything else is this one. This is the CCG pack and the best way to show you this is by showing you the demo scene. Now this one is uh, like a collectible card game. Let me just focus here. Uh, here you can see the kind of stuff that you're getting in this pack. So it's all the components you need uh, to build these cards and then all the card art for them. So if you want to prototype a collectible card game, it could be a good pickup for you. Again, everything here is sprites. So you see here we've got uh, the card, card covers, the card front, so all the areas around it. And then you've got like the symbols and such are all available over here on the components. Uh, so, you know, if you want to have various different uh, cutouts and numbers and displays of such, you'd create your card that way. And then, of course, all of your card art is in here as well. This pack is very much different than a lot of the other things in this uh, pack. And unfortunately, I think this is an area where things like Stable Diffusion are going to lower the value of this kind of content. Although, in my opinion, it looks pretty sharp. So, again, if you're looking to prototype a collectible card game, could be a good pickup there. Now, if you want to create a uh, survival style game, here is the forest survival pack right here. Again, everything you need to create a, a low polygon forest environment. So trees and uh, shrubs and uh, rivers and rocks and so on. Uh, so if that's the type of game you're going for, the nice thing about this pack across the board is you're going to have uh, genre specific art. So let's say you needed a bunch of weapons. And this here is the Mega Weapons Pack, and you're going to find pretty much every kind of firearm, small arm you can think of, ammunition boxes and so on in this pack. Here you see clips, etc. Over here we've got uh, bazookas. Uh, over here we got uh, some knives and trenching tools and so on. Ammo crates, and then we get into the actual uh, guns, so everything from RPGs to LMGs to uh, assault rifles to sniper and hunting rifles to pistols, shotguns, and so on and so forth. So if you need weapons, the weapons pack definitely has you covered, and possibly what you needed was melee weapons. Well, that is where the uh, post-survival, poly-survival melee weapon pack comes in, which includes, well, a guitar, uh, a giant cleaver, and so on. Uh, go down here, we got crowbars and uh, axes and improvised axes. We've got a variety of knives and swords, etc. And speaking of post-apocalyptic, we have the Mega Vehicle Kit, which is a collection of, you know, Mad Maxi style cars and the accoutrements for them. So we got some machine guns that you can add on the front. Uh, again, most of the stuff is pretty modular in nature, and you're going to have just 
pretty much an asset pack for everything. So on that topic, let's head on back over to the page itself. Uh, so that's over here. Uh, this bundle is like all Humble bundles organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar tier, you get all the stuff below it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble, the publisher, charity, and if you so choose, and thank you so much for you do, to help support Game From Scratch. So the top tier here, you're looking at 25 bucks. Uh, the bottom tier here is, of course, $1. It has... Uh, two aspects in it, one of which is that melee wild weapons pack we just looked at a minute ago. Uh, your median tier here is where the collectible card game, oh no, that's, is that the card game? Yeah, okay, that's the collectible card game we demoed earlier on. A couple of the town things, 100 plus houses, 100 plus fishing village models, uh, fantasy village, and then we get to the full fat, which is probably where the majority of people would be interested in. And here you're getting a sci-fi kit, a survival kit, uh, survival construction kit, food, Character kit, survival forest. By the way, if you're wondering if they're animated, no, they're not. And interestingly enough, this is the only one uh, that doesn't show as being uh, for uh, Unreal Engine. So it's one of those things to notice. Uh, mega survival tools, uh, vehicle kit, medical kit, the weapons kit, the Megapolis city pack, the house appliances, the Wild West pack, farming, Halloween, medieval camp. Uh, post-apocalyptic UI, and then everything we looked at earlier on. So pretty much, uh, regardless to the genre of game you were looking at, you're getting uh, about, if I did the math right, I did it earlier on, I believe it was 5,500 models in this pack. Uh, definitely a, a huge pack in that regard. So uh, when you buy it, what you're getting is redemption on uh, Humble Store itself. So it's basically one and done. These models will basically be frozen in time. Uh, everything is available for download here. In terms of speeds, here's a 48 megabyte file. And yeah, we're getting 16, 18, 20 megabytes per second on download. So pretty good download speeds. You can grab them and download them as many times as you want. Again, do make sure that you haven't already bought the asset you're interested in. Uh, but I'd say 60% of this bundle was already in a previous bundle back in June. Uh, so this is the Polygon Game Dev Assets by Anim Humble Bundle. Make sure, check your library, make sure you don't already own that because you're going to get some definite overlaps. So like the New York City thing for sure. Uh, the weapons pack was in this one earlier on and so on. So there's definitely quite a bit of overlap with an earlier bundle that happened. So if you've already bought that bundle, you're going to want to make sure um, that you know you don't already own the stuff that you're interested in. A uh, digital hoarder problem we and as I mentioned earlier on, if you want to get these assets into an engine other than Unreal or Unity, you are not out of luck. I've done a couple of videos on this topic. There are a variety of ways to do it. Uh, one of the best results you're going to get is coming from Unreal Engine. It's got some of the best export options out there. I did a recent video on this one just like a couple of months back showing you multiple different ways you can get out from Unreal Engine uh, to Blender, Unity, or Godot. Uh, also, another option you have is exporting outside of Unity to other game engines. And there is a third option coming soon, spoil spoiler alert about basically going directly from uh, a Unity package into the Godot game engine. So if you're using Godot, there are plenty of ways to get these assets in. You may have to jump through a couple more hoops than you would normally like because you don't always get the prefab stuff. Uh, but still, it's it's quite doable uh, to get these working in other game engines. And generally, inside of a Unity package, it's just a bunch of FBX files anyways. So regardless to what game engine you're using, uh, you can use these assets pretty much in them. You just might have to jump through a couple extra hoops. Uh, so that is the uh, Polygon Assets by Animpick Creative Studio. A huge collection of assets. Again, if you're not into that low poly style, there's not much here for you. But if you like low poly assets, just about every genre of game is covered by this bundle. I'm curious what you think of this bundle in general. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.